Hello, Mr. President. It is November the 16th, uh, 2017. We're, it's about quarter to 10, 10 to 10, um, a Thursday morning. We're right down at the foot of Burrard Harbor. Uh, and as you can see here, this is Canada Place at the Port of Vancouver. It's quite a beautiful building, Mr. President. Um, we're right, this is really the foot of the business district in Vancouver. And I'll just take a quick panoramic view. This is the convention center over here uh, to my left. And uh, that's the west one. And then we have the east one over to my right here as we'll scan along uh, where Canada Place is. Uh, it's quite a beautiful building. And what I wanted to do is just take you along the foot of the port here and let you see what the opening to Canada Canada's opening to the Pacific Ocean looks like today. The sun is trying to creep out and if we have any luck we'll get it out by the, with, by the end of the day. But I wanted to just take a look down here. Over straight ahead here where we're facing is the uh, inlet uh, to the Pacific Ocean and that's where uh, I think this is called the Strait of well, this is Burrard Inlet here, and I believe uh, my geography might be a little weak on this part. I'm not from this part of Canada, but the Strait of Georgia is straight through there. I know that for sure. And then right across from there, you hit Vancouver Island. But I just wanted to show you uh, what Vancouver Harbor looks like today and point out the lack of human activity in the harbor. Keep in mind, uh, Vancouver is the major, and as far as I know, the only port that Canada has open to the Pacific Ocean. There might be tiny ones along the way for certain. Uh, there could be some lumber towns and others along the BC coast that have traffic out to the Pacific Ocean, but by and large, I would say that all trade from Canada that goes to Asia, let's say the majority, the giant majority of it passes through the port of Vancouver. That's what Vancouver is set up for and it's facing uh, Asia, the thriving markets there. So we would see naturally, we would expect to see a thriving commerce of cargo ships and containers and all kinds of uh, nautical aircraft, uh, nautical vehicles along in this, big, in this port today. But as you can see, sir, straight ahead there, excuse me, is the opening to the Pacific Ocean. And there isn't very much going on today. Uh, we saw these cranes before that were not moving. Uh, we showed those in a video at least a week ago. And I just wanna pull back here <laughs> and show you what the port of Vancouver looks like today.
here's Illuminati right there. Three of them, Illuminati. As I mentioned in previous videos, Mr. President, uh, my thoughts, my actions, my emotions are not mine. They're controlled by the Illuminati, and any attempt I make to have my own opinions or exercise my own free will or conscious, it will be thwarted and exter exterminated by the Illuminati. Say hello to the Illuminati, Mr. President. They like to uh, joke the fact that I'm not working and that I'm just taking social services from the government, which I think is uh, quite a jovial joke, considering I think that the pension money that I get for my disability and from the Ontario and Quebec and Can Canadian governments is very, is money well spent, Mr. President. I think that my duty to my country and my patriotic honor are very well justified with the money that's being spent for my monthly income. However, as they like to say today, while I was at the breakfast at the uh, Christchurch Cathedral, I should get a job and uh, earn my own money. They also like to um, have in several digs a day uh, that I should obey, that I should submit, that I should surrender, and that I should play ball with the Illuminati. Oh, by the way, before I forget it, I, there's things that pass through my mind during the day, and I try to remember to include them in these messages, Mr. President, and some I forget. Uh, just about a week ago, the Illuminati informed me that you, Mr. President, with all due respect, were the Antichrist. Um, I took that with a big grain of salt uh, because they also said back around June that the Department of Homeland Security was the Antichrist. So lots of accusations about who is the Antichrist and who is not, but have no worry as we don't because we do know who the three Antichrists are. The Queen of England and the Royal Family, the Pope and the Vatican, and multi-billionaire George Soros who likes to gas people to death and create snuff films in Whitehorse, Yukon. Not much activity today. Uh, there must be a fire blocking the entry into Vancouver Harbor. Perhaps that must be it, Mr. President. That must account for the complete lack of any commerce or business out of Vancouver Harbor today. You would almost think by looking at this, Mr. President, that a pandemic has exploded throughout Canada, causing the death of millions. That, or perhaps we could anticipate, as they, as they had a joke today in church about a flood, that the great water apocalypse of May 2016 caused 35 million Canadians to flee for their lives. As you can see, and as you can hear, Mr. President, there's nothing to see and nothing to hear at the Port of Vancouver on Thursday, November 16th, 2017. Note the Illuminati eye. Knee jerk reaction coming.
Have a good day, Mr. President.